Welcome back, everyone. It is good day to the rescue today, and of course, we'd have to have the police department with us. We're talking with Officer Danny all day this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, ma'am. So I hear a little um, birdie tell me you're recently new to the um, police department. How long have you been here, and when did you decide to come here? I've been on the department for about 10 months now, and I decided to come to the department January of last year, I decided to make the change to come to Albany. Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Albany. I grew up in Albany and Lee County. Okay. Um, and my early adulthood, I moved away from uh, Albany. So, just recently moving back. So, you decided to come back to your hometown and serve? I did. I did. Um, what do you like about being with Albany Police Department so far? You've only been there for 10 months, so I'm wondering what have you experienced so far in just your 10 months? Well, the short time that I've been there, I've seen, uh, basically it's a big family. Mm -hmm. um, they welcome you with open arms and they try to teach you everything that they can. Uh, keep the officers safe and also to basically train you to do your job better mm -hmm. so we can better protect uh, and serve the public. And I wonder, since you're new and you're kind of considered a rookie, do they kind of pick on you what we see in all these other sitcoms and stuff for being a rookie? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it's not too bad, you know, but you will get the occasional a little uh, picking on, but at the end of the day, you know, they'll help you out. They'll do whatever they can to make sure you're safe and uh, that you go home at the end of the day. And you said you get an occasional picking on. What's probably the funniest one that they've done to you since you're the rookie? Well, since I've been there, it hasn't been too bad for me. Um, mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've actually had an FTO when I was riding with him. I, mm -hmm. I didn't know the street name. So he put me out and took off and then... Uh, told me to walk back to the car. <laughs> so it, it, it hadn't been too bad other than that. So why did you decide to be a police officer? Is there someone that inspired you or an event that inspired you to become, in, to become an officer and serve? Well, when I, was, uh, when I was little, it all started uh, back in the flood in 94. Mm -hmm. uh, my family was displaced by the flood. And right before we were evacuated, we had a police officer come up to the house. And uh, he told us, look, the water's coming. Y'all need to get away. And he actually helped us put our things in a vehicle. Mm -hmm. So seeing that at an early age, seeing what they're really about. And also, I love cops as a, uh, growing up. I couldn't miss it. <laughs> you know, um, it just put something in, in, inside my heart that wanted to, something wanted to help the public, you know, and serve. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Well, I have a story that Phyllis has told me that I'm not going to tell you just yet. <laughs> we'll inform you of about it when we come back. They have a good day to the rescue. We're talking with Officer Danny all day this morning from the Albany Police Department. Thank you for joining us. He's only been there for 10 months, and I've heard many stories about you already through a few of connections that we have. <laughs> I have this story that I was sent. Um, you might remember the date, April 17th. I don't know if that sticks in your head that date. But for those of you that don't know, April 17th, this officer responded to a call at an apartment complex on Gillianville Road. There was a female in that apartment that had taken a good amount of medication, as you should remember. Then you called EMS. You had knocked on the door several times, but no one answered. Luckily, you were able to unlock a screen door to get into the front door, which was also locked, and somehow there was a family member that unlocked it for you. You went inside, you saw this lady lying on the couch, and she wasn't responsive at all. You tried to wake her up, and it didn't work. You noticed that the lady wasn't breathing, and her face was blue, and you couldn't find a pulse. Um, you then picked, picked this lady up, moved her from the couch to the floor, performed CPR, and I was told about 30 compressions later, you actually got a pulse, and she was breathing, and you kind of saved her life. What was going on that day? Because you've only been here for 10 months. I'm pretty sure that was a very shocking day. Well, the, uh, the intense training we receive in the academy and our field training officers, we, we receive a lot of training. Um, pretty much they, everything is repetition with our mm -hmm. department. So when we face situations like that, we don't stop to think what to do. We automatically know and we kick in overdrive and do it. Um, that day was just a regular day. Uh, it was another what most people might want to call routine call. But of, cor uh, of course we know none of them are routine. Mm -hmm. um, it was basically just a call to check on a family member. Um, I got there, and nobody answered the door. There was nobody around, so I thought, well, maybe she just went to the store. Mm -hmm. When the family member came home, or came back to unlock the door for me, I did. I found her on the couch. Um, at that time, my heart started beating. I, 
I got a little nervous, but then again, like I said, my training kicked in. Mm -hmm. I was able to, you know, move her to the floor and start uh, compressions on her. Um, that's one thing they do teach us in the academy efficiently is how to do CPR, just in case we're faced with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, when her when I felt a pulse and she started breathing, I did a little cheer. You know. <laughs> so um, it was exciting. It was exciting. I'm glad she made it through. Um, EMS was there as soon as I got done with it, so they were able to further treat her on the scene. So I, w I was happy. It was a good day for me. And I know it was a good day because this is a surprise we have for you. We actually talked to a lot of people at your office. Let's take a listen to what they had to say. All day. Uh, I would like to thank you for your dedicated service to this police department and the citizens of this community. I'm reminded of an incident that happened earlier this spring where you assisted a lady uh, that uh, needed, actually she was revived, uh, and you stepped in using your training, you did the right thing. It was on time, it was appropriate. I just want to thank you for being the officer that you are and will become. So thank you from the chief of police and the other members of the command staff in this police department. Thank you so very much for a job well done. Patrolman all day. Uh, on behalf of the Uniform Bureau, we'd like to say thank you and congratulations on this honor. Uh, your quick thinking and heroic actions help to save a life. You truly exemplify and bring honor to the department and to the citizens of Albany through what you did. Patrolman all day. On behalf of the Albany Police Department and other supervisors in the Uniform Bureau, I just want to say thank you for a job well done. Always coming to work, always enthusiastic about work, and always doing what we ask you to do. We set the example for the rest of the office on the ship. Thank you, sir. I saw a big smile on your <laughs> face because you had no yeah. clue what was going on. What's running through your mind right now? Well, that means a lot. Coming from, uh, you know, the chief, the deputy chief and lieutenant, it means a lot because those are people, especially as a rookie, you look up to. Mm -hmm. You depend on them to be there when you need them. And for, for something like that coming from them, it just means a lot to me. It, it makes my day. It definitely, I, I'll never forget it. So. He had no clue that he was coming here to get a big surprise. He thought he was coming to talk about being a new officer. So he's witnessing this for the first time, as you are. So here on behalf of Fox 31, I want to say thank you for all the good work you've done and will continue to do. You've been here for 10 months, and we can't appreciate the many more once you are here to stay. Yes, ma'am. I look forward to being here for a long time. 